All right, what is going on, guys? Spyfall is back again. And now that the banner's out, I'm going to do a should you summon because I feel like a lot of people are wondering whether or not they should summon for this Toshiro because he really is the reason for this guild quest. Don't let Caleb fool you. They timed this Toshiro to come out with this very hard guild quest. He's definitely the ideal unit to use here, and we'll talk about that. But I want to go over the whole banner because I really don't think that there's enough value here. I did do the first step just because I do the first step in almost every uh, banner. I don't think that there's much value here. And like, okay, so Quincy and Sternritter uh, are, are <laughs> the combined guild quest. And what just happens to be this banner, right? We have Toshiro, who's a Quincy killer, and then Momo, who is a Sternritter killer. If you think that Caleb didn't do this on purpose, like Caleb are scumbags. They will do any dirty trick in the book in order to try to make you feel some type of FOMO. My honest recommendation is this guild quest literally lasts three days. If you can like hold off on three days and just score like poorly or whatever, there will be no more motivation for you to summon on this banner. <laughs> Like, that, that that would be my honest recommendation if you want it. Now, going into the actual banner itself, I don't think that the banner is as bad as I made it seem in the gameplay video. Uh, going into it, let's just talk about the useless characters in this banner. Um, Just off rip, right? Rangiku, Gin, Spirit Society, Ichigo, as well as Orihime. I still think Orihime is good for, like, epic raids, but functionally... I feel like these four units, you can kind of just take them out, and I think they would. Um, I, I feel like they wouldn't really participate too much in whatever you're doing. Going into the five characters that I didn't make note of, Chad. Chad is pretty good for Soul Reaper Week. He is a team booster with the heal mechanic, and then on top of that, he obviously has poise, melee damage plus 30% in GQ. So he's not a full on GQ unit because he doesn't have that killer plus 50% in GQ or whatever but he's still very 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 good for that type of uh, content if you're missing a good booster for soul reaper um and, and keep in mind that he's a melee unit so he's not really competing with like tokinata i think tokinata did uh for me pretty damn well though i wish that his second strong attack was changed to range um caleb we'll talk about the, the whole postponement of toshiro because i really do have my own uh, things to say about that now, going into the Aizen, really just a GQ unit, a spot a killer, melee unit. Uh, we do have the Bruiser, 60%, goes up to 90 thanks to his Soul Trait. Killer effect, plus 50% in GQ, melee damage, 30% in GQ. Really not much to say here aside from he's a GQ unit through and through. And if you happen to be running another Power Soul Reaper NAD unit, you're also getting an extra 20% to him and another 20% to that guy in particular. Next, Renji. He is a complete GQ unit like through and through as well, except now he actually has a place to shine with very hard. He has the multi barrier. He has the team boost. He has the melee damage 30% in GQ, killer effect 50% in GQ, a Ronkar killer week, so he's going to be ideal for that. He has a flurry of plus one and a bruiser of only plus 20%. <sighs> Guys, what, what, what's, what's your soul trade? Now, you have more than that. There it is. A full stamina only normal attack damage 40%. This is where he shines, right? Because you have access to his, um, his, booster his boost mechanic, not booster boost mechanic with multi-barrier so he has a lot of protection here freeze immunity and then he gets the full stamina only normal attack damage 40 percent, which scales with flurry and his regular bruiser of 20 percent the it doesn't become bruiser 60 percent; it becomes bruiser 20 percent. multiply his damage by 1.4 for his normal attack damage strength that's huge in my opinion you also have follow up plus one, which means that even if the enemy is down on the ground, he's still able to deal damage to them. And he has the lacerate mechanic, which doesn't get completely neutered in content like uh, GQ as well. Like it'll prevent your the enemies from not. No, nah, I guess it, this only prevents. Uh, does it this prevent strong attacks? I don't think so. <laughs> not quite sure. Uh, either way, uh, it is what it is. Now, if you actually go into the GQ. Phase one, if you want to lose the stress of whether or not you should summon on this banner, literally don't summon on this banner for the first three days and you will lose complete motivation to summon on this banner. This banner literally leaves into it. Excuse me. This guild quest is valid for three days. Quincy and Sternritter killer. What are the killers on these characters? Of course, Quincy and Sternritter. 
<laughs> I did the first step on the banner. Um, I just, I just let me just be fully transparent with y'all. Did the first step on the banner. That's all I plan to do. I don't plan to buy orbs. I don't plan to spend any more on here. I'm gonna save for end of the month because end of the month characters are usually cooler. And even though I do like the design on the Toshiro, I am not wailing until I get that Toshiro. That's just it. It is what it is. Going into the Momo. Uh, this character really has no practical use outside of just farming content. She has the Mind Link Slot Potions plus 10, Mind Droplet drop 30%, and then she has... I think you had one more thing? Nah, she didn't have anything else. So she, she's just droplets and potions, so epic raids. And then on top of that, for GQ, she has access to... Uh, medic so team heal multi barrier for barriers you do get a lot of uh, protection on these types of characters my problem with this character unlike boost characters they do not prioritize their multi barrier heal attack I believe I might be wrong I believe that they will choose and opt to not use their barrier until they are near dead not a character on your side is near dead until that character in particular is near dead the ai will not proc their heal and that sucks because it's also a strong attack and it deals like i want to say it, it'll account for like 25 percent of the damage that this would this character would deal if she did this off cooldown immediately i think that it would be good or if she did her first strong attack or third strong attack and then did her second strong attack it'd be better but the problem is the AI in BBS is <laughs> not very good when it comes to autoing content. I feel like the AI of the enemies is better than the, your AI when you're trying to auto. But she does have a lot of uh, benefits to her, right? We have a Frenzy plus one, increased damage to uh, characters not afflicted by an ailment plus 100%. Damage inflicted at full stam, 30%, will go up to 55% when she does have, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? when she has like t20 this character does not have any immunities either so for this gq this character is going to get locked down quite heavily unless you have another character with like team party stamp stamina sta status immunity or whatever do you have that no you don't have that right yeah okay so like the character will be weakened which is even worse because that means that not only will she get hit for 50 percent more damage she's gonna get probably one shot and very hard, the enemies hit very fucking hard. <laughs> so like, unless she's like popping off this multi barrier and keeping it, which she can do because she does have that uh, the five uh, guard uh, five barriers whenever she pops it, it, it. I just don't see her being that great. Now going into Toshiro, um, I really believe that they fucked up with this character because his third strong attack was a melee attack. That literally neuters his main damage dealing skill that you try to use on cooldown. Not only that, but since it's the trap mechanic, you need to use that strong attack. And since the enemies are immune to them, since this character did not get a Marauder or a Sharpshooter, they had to like, pos I believe that they postponed the whole banner in order to swap that one skill to be ranged. And they didn't want to mess up the like any uh, variables. Because if they changed his uh, third strong attack, willy-nilly right before the banner launched or as the banner launched uh i believe that it could have fucked up uh other characters with the trap mechanics such as i believe retsu and mayuri now i don't think that this character is bad i think this character is actually very good my problem with this character is like he doesn't have any farming potential like he deals damage sure he's a good toshiro in my opinion but since he's only good for three days every i want to say eight weeks <laughs> <laughs> like I, I don't really see you finding much value for him i feel like in this game where you want to like you have a limited amount of orbs and even though caleb does give a in my opinion good amount of orbs every month if, if they're not guaranteeing you the character it can be very iffy on whether or not you should summon slash bother right now this character does have a lot going on for him damage to frozen enemies 40 percent with the trap mechanic he very very easily gets that active status ailment spiritual pressure boost will increase his damage by about 65 percent uh 70 70 75 percent when he has uh two out of five specials so that you can get his focus up then you have the debilitator plus five seconds so his freeze lasts a very very long time don't sleep on this freeze freeze of like I believe that would be 10 i believe it's 10 seconds 
10 second freeze in that GQ, meaning that you lock down the boss for that long is fucking huge. Then you have Frenzy plus one, Guard Break plus Hit Hidden Enemies, which I think is um, mainly for regular PvE content, not necessarily Guild Quest. But you have the Killer Effect, 50% in GQ, 30% range damage in GQ. So his character is mainly meant for GQ. Not that he's bad elsewhere, he has damage inflicted at a full stamp 45%. Like going into just damage alone, you have Frenzy plus one, SP boost 80%, the trap mechanic that will trigger the SP boost, so you don't have to worry about that coming online like as long as you're popping that off regularly you'll probably have your status ailment spiritual pressure boost up i want to say 80 to 90 percent uh uptime which is in my opinion really 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 good uh you can probably have 100 percent uptime if you time your strong attacks properly oh, well maybe not even properly but if you time your strong attacks you can have 100 percent uptime on a spiritual pressure boost which is great then you have the berserker 40 percent damage to frozen enemies 40 percent like i said very easy to freeze enemies with this character and then you have the damage inflicted at full stamp 45 percent which is fucking nuts and then you have havoc 20 percent so he actually is usable in a lot of content as opposed to this momo that didn't even get havoc if she got havoc i honestly think that this banner would be nice to summon on if only to make this guild quest easier but then you can use her in like various types of content without having to worry about it right now the only places i see this momo being used is epic raids and if you have this character like two out of five to four out of five well two out of five to five out of five then i think you can take her into very hard gq at one out of five i think she'll perform fine in regular hard gq but in very hard i i really do think that you kind of need a little more than just um passing the buck like my issue with very hard is i really do believe that if you don't have dupes in like these characters for very hard it's very hard to kind of <laughs> very hard it, it's kind of hard to get ahead only because in bbs you don't really unlock anything with transcendence except for more damage like in some games like genshin for example characters will gain various special properties and stuff like passives um different mechanics and the way that you play like a c6 zong li does not play the same as a c0 zong li uh c6 zhao doesn't play like c0 zhao uh, and even though some characters might just get straight up damage kind of like Deluke, like in in bbs it's literally just full-on fucking damage so it is what it is uh we'll see exactly whether or not these characters are performing at uh, one out of five I, I do believe tosher will perform fine at one out of five but you have to confirm that you're getting the character or you run the risk of going deep into a banner and then you don't even get the character and then you just fucking burn your orbs before end of the month and if end of the month is premium pool and you can save like your orbs for end of the month december 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 end of the month is usually fucking nuts and those characters are probably going to be good in gq as well as all various types of content so we'll, we'll see what's up anyways my recommendation is um if you're if you want to summon for these characters by all means feel free they'll make your life easier for this type guild quest in particular but if you're not trying to summon or you're hesitant on summoning because they're only going to be used in this guild quest let's be real here there's going to be a lot of people that summon for characters and you guys use those characters one two times a fucking like three months right this is one of those characters like if you don't plan to play this character outside of guild quest skip the skip the banner tell your fucking guild leader look man i'm saving my orbs get fuck nerd i I'm, I'm cool with a league b league whatever fucking rating you're in if you're s league get fuck nerd you have to summon on this banner get like that it, it is what it is <laughs> but i'm gonna leave it at that stay blessed y'all you have a great one i'll see y'all in the next one peace